reading the uh, poet Katun, by, translated by Dick Davis, who is a Persian poet of Saraz, in the book Faces of Love, which is just a Penguin classic. Page 140. 140, and there's the first line of the Persian poem. I didn't know my value then when I was young so long ago, but now that I have played my part out here, what is it that I know? <laughs> I know that now that both of them have gone, life's good and pa bad pass by as quickly in my youth as dawn's first breeze forsakes the morning sky. Hmm. Dawn's first breeze comes and goes, right? How, how many ardent birds of longing then were lured down from the air by my two ringlets, curls, and coils to be held trapped and helpless there? In youth's lovely orchard then, I raised my head as prettily, as gracefully, above the greensward there as any cypress tree, until with charming partners to oppose me, I took up lover's chess and lost so many of love's pieces to my partner's handsomeness that's cute she lost her pieces to in a chess game uh -huh. hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> and the poem goes on <clears throat> And then how often on the spacious field of beauty I urged on my hopeful heart's untiring steed, always pursuing what was gone. Now, as no shoots or leaves remain to me from youth and youth's delight, I fit myself in my old age to face the dark of the night. That one's a little sadder. <laughs> the last three. She's talking about her passing youth. <laughs> Until with charming partners to oppose me, I took up lover's chess and lost so many of love's pieces to my partner's handsomeness. And then, how often on the spacious field of beauty I urged on my hopeful heart's untiring steed, always pursuing what was gone. Now, as no shoots or leaves remain to me from youth and youth's delight, I fit myself in my old age to face the darkness of the night. We're not so young ourselves anymore. <laughs> we can drink coffee, but we can still handle morning coffee with poetry, but by many lovers. But we're not able to drink a lot of wine or anything. <laughs> Many lovers. But we don't know her background, girl. She was probably in the court somewhere. I don't think she's, I don't know what she is. I, we don't, I don't know what her. She's a person? Uh, I think, I think she, um, courtesan. I think she is something like that. We'll have to look it up. Courtesan, that's a little far. Unless she's just talking about. She's not a. Impersonating. She's not necessarily talking about herself. Well, uh, like I said, we don't know because we have the philosophy of not knowing anything. <laughs> we can look up in the introduction and look her up in Wikipedia. Why don't you go to Wikipedia? Everything you need to know is in the Wikipedia. <laughs> can I read the next? Do you want to read? You can read from her. Here, I'll look it up while you read. What are you looking up? Uh, I'm looking up. Uh, Amazing that writing. Uh, that, how can uh, I look, record? Look it's <laughs> art by itself. I mean, how can imagine? I look up and read? <laughs> writing record. was such an art. And what All did right. we do of it? And read it. Huh? Hearth in his beauty's garden. <clears throat> can I have no, your no, phone? No. No. I want to look up her no. later then. Hearth in his beauty's garden. I like nightingales complain of his roses now for me. Only the thorns remain. My friends have gathered flowers, but I, 
because of all his harshness can find no flower to gather here and search for them in vain. My heart is filled with suffering and all my doctors say is sugar from him and nothing else will lessen your heart's pain. I filled the world with love for him, so why should I receive such cruelty from my dearest love again and yet again? My free will's gone from me, so how can my poor ears accept all the advice my clever tutors, homilies, contain? No, in the pre-dawn darkness, I am like the nightingale that in the altar sing the rose, its old lovesick refrain. I hear it's strangers whom you welcome, whom you make such much of now. Let me then be a stranger in the kingdom where you reign. I hear it's strangers whom you welcome, whom you make much of now. Let me then be a stranger in the kingdom where you reign. So she wants to be a stranger in his life. Is she talking about a loved one or a beloved one? If you should kiss me with your ruby lips, my dear, I'll be your slave and wear your earring in my ear. Who has such lovely eyes or lips or cheeks as you? Who has your hair, your neck or your complexion? Who? Who is in a moon where such uh, a hat? And who is there who is seen a cypress tree wrapped in the cloth you wear? Oh God, give me the rose and not the thorns of love. Oh God, don't nip me with those lips I'm dreaming of. I'm like a cooking pot that's placed upon love's fire. All day and night I seethe and bubble with desire. I've cried too much since you've been abs absent from my sight. What do you know of all that I endured last night? Why have you hurt my heart with grief so callously? And what's made you forget uh, your promises to me? It's amazing how the, the, part of the comparison she makes here, I'm like a cooking pot that's placed upon love's fire. All day and night I see and bubble with desire. <laughs> Oh, the cot, like the pot, huh? Hmm. Oh, I'd like to know that language. My heart is tangled like thick curls tangled. And no one hears me grieve. In all the world I've no friend since you said you had to leave. What will become of this poor wretch with no friend at her side? with no one but her own despair in whom she can confide. Tell me about his eyes and heart, absence give me his news. Pour out the wine now, glass by glass, pour for me, don't refuse. Your living is a sword that pierced my memory, oh, give the balm of your return to me quickly and let me live. You know your kindness, oh my love, and it alone would burn in all the world my aching heart for good and bad in turn. Oh God, why have you made my back bow down beneath the way? Of his long absence, why have you reduced me to this state? The stream of that flows within this garden says to the cypress tree, may God forbid your shade should ever diminish over me. I didn't start this love that makes me suffer so and grieve. 
these games of love were started first uh, when Adam sinned with Eve. Mm -hmm. Adam did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sweet breeze, return to me, you bear, and scent of my beloved's hair. I suffered while you were away. You'll bring the balm of my despair. My doctors are so sick of all my sicknesses, but I know where the medicine lies. It's in the scent you'll bring to me from his sweat, from his sweet hair. Tell him I'm half insane without you. You'll cure these pains I cannot bear. Don't say to him how long my love will you condemn me to despair. Your face ensurps the, the fiercy glow and hue of roses. And with uh, your face here, what have I to do with roses? Your ringlets, fragrance is so sweet, my friend. No fragrance, fragrant rose and could entice me to seek roses. Besides, the faithless roses scent will fade, uh, which is a curious, a serious drawback in my view of roses. And if the waters of eternal life had touched their roots so that they bloomed anew, these roses, when could they ever form a bud as sweet as your small mouth, which is more trim and true than roses? Very good. Now, <coughs> we read what you read to four. 149. You mean you have me on YouTube now? Yeah. Well, you want to be on? Hmm? Oh, let me hear. Me. I think you you sound all right. I think you did good. Uh, Jahan Malik Khatun. Uh, a woman poet read by a woman. Uh, it should be read by a woman. Uh, we read from page 140 to 149 from... The Faces of Love by translator Dick Davis. And we're going to look up uh, about this woman's background. And uh, she was around the court, and they had a lot of court poetry, probably. She's a love poet, huh? She's a love poet, probably.